Loading document SCP-3095. Item number SCP-3095. Object class Avian. Containment class Neutralized. Special containment procedures. Group of interest V01 has been dissolved and all instances of SCP-3095-1 have been terminated. Therefore, SCP-3095 is believed to be neutralized. The following document procedures are kept for archival purposes only. Instances of SCP-3095-1 are to be contained in Avery-19, which is located in Site-48, due to the dangers of SCP-3095-1 instances collaborating with each other. Only five may be housed in the same containment unit at any one time. Field termination is authorized for when Avery-19 has reached maximum capacity. Civilizations created by SCP-3095-1 instances are to be monitored by MTF-801 bird brains. Should a civilization reach a point where it poses a threat to the Foundation and or the Veil, MTF New 7 Hammer Down is authorized to destroy it. GOI-301 is to be dissolved as soon as possible. No members of GOI-301 are to be apprehended, then interrogated and given appropriate amnestics. New 7 is to be deployed in order to destroy no meeting sites of GOI-301. President of Interest 301K, the current president of GOI-301, is to be located and assassinated. Description SCP-3095 is a designation given to a recurring phenomenon affecting members of the Aves class, also known as birds. Species affected by SCP-3095 designated SCP-3095-1 will acquire a certain degree of sapience. SCP-3095-1 have varying personalities and levels of intelligence. Though many common characteristics are noted, SCP-3095 grant SCP-3095-1 instances proficiency in a certain area. These range from those as mundane as culinary, carpentry, or construction skills, to talent in the areas of physics, biology, economics, linguistics, politics, and other areas of academia. All SCP-3095-1 instances are fluent in a language consisting of chirps, screeches, and appendage movements, though differences in dialects between species has been observed. A written form of this language exists, though not all instances of SCP-3095-1 are literate. Although long SCP-3095-1 instances have been regularly encountered, SCP-3095-1 instances tend to form civilizations. These civilizations are often grouped by species. For example, an SCP-3095-1 civilization may consist of robins, with very few other species present. The populations of these civilizations vary wildly. It is known that a village consisting of 14 pelicans exists in a single village in southern Africa while the largest known civilization have a population estimated in the millions across multiple large cities. In the case of these large civilizations, they pose a threat to the Foundation. See Addendum 3095-3. SCP-3095 has been linked to anomalous rituals undergone by GOI-301, the Avian Lolite. GOI-301 is dedicated to the worship of members of the Aves class. Traces of GOI-301 have been dated as far back as 1000 BCE. It is believed that GOI-301 and SCP-3095-1 worship a common deity. See Addendum 3095-1. GOI-301 currently poses a Class II threat. Update. GOI-301 has been dissolved following the implementation of proposing Exigna. See Addendum 3095-4. SCP-3095-1 were first discovered in New York City. 
after an organized group made up of pigeons attempted to claim the Statue of Liberty for themselves. They were quickly neutralized by global co coalition forces. This phenomenon was originally classified as a sub designation of SCP-659. It was determined that SCP-3095 existed following the development of three more civilizations in data redacted, as well as encounters with long instances of SCP-3095-1. GOI-301 was originally associated with SCP-765, and it was not until 2001 that SCP-3095 was linked to GOI-301. Addendum 3095-1 Interview Log Interviewer Researcher Beep Calvin Interviewee Dufflin Forward Dufflin was an SCP-3095-1 instance acting as the official ambassador of the Kingdom of the First Oak, located in Beep, Canada. This interview was conducted via writing in English. Begin Log Hello Dufflin Good day, Calvin. Before we discuss our trade deal, I'd like to ask some questions. Would that be good with you? It would be my pleasure. Alright, first of all, how have you gained your ability to think? It's a bit hard to answer that. One day, I was running about, mindless as a monkey. The next day, I was not mindless. I guess I could attribute this loss of mindlessness to Medillia. Could you please tell me who Medillia is? Legend says that she only gives mind to her most true disciples. The others continue to stay mindless. I would not blame you for not attributing your minds to her. You probably have a different rock tender to give you your minds. I'm sorry, but we do not have a god like that. Are you certain? On my journeys, I am certain that I have seen apes lumbering around mindless. I am sure. Are you okay with me asking one more question? Ask away, mindful friend. You interact very rarely with other civilizations. Why? Well, why should I? They have their own affairs. The Kingdom of the First Oak have their own affairs. If you would like to trade, we trade. Speaking of trading, I have a proposal that would be good for us. Tell me. Our researchers have attributed several mindful theories about how our world works. We will give you a full document of this knowledge in exchange for iron. We have quite the trouble harvesting it from the lands. I will forward this proposal to my supervisor. Thank you. End log. Closing statements. Interviews with other SCP-3095-1 instances have revealed a common belief in Medillia. Medillia also appears in several scriptures associated with GOI-301. Classification of Medea as a destination of SCP-3095 is pending. Senior researcher Beep agreed to exchange Beep tons of iron for the Kingdom of the First Oak scientific discoveries. In order to analyze the culture of SCP-3095-1 instances, these documents revealed an understanding similar to the classical four elements theory, with some elements of cell and atomic theory. A full description is available in document 3095-R0. Addendum 3095-2 Known Civilizations Forward the following table contains a rich list of significant civilizations created by SCP-3095-1. A full list can be found in document 3095-A7. Civilization Types Type 1, Lowest Level Very simple or no tools Hunter-Gatherer Society Very simple or no hierarchy Type 2, Simple Tools and Shelter Makes use of agriculture Simple hierarchy. Type 3. Uses simple machines or some variation. Has at least one school of thought or philosophy in some form. And has an effective hierarchy. Type 4. Uses complex machines or some variation. 
has begun to use systematic knowledge to store information of the world around him as a complex hierarchy. Type 5 has begun to efficiently produce energy and make use of that energy, has at least basic computational systems, has a very complex hierarchy or sub-hierarchies. Type 6, the current level of humanity as of July 20th, 2017. Name of civilization, description, civilization type. The Coup of the Seven. Little is known about this civilization as it was neutralized by the Global Occult Coalition before investigation could be done. Coop of the Seven was made up entirely out of pigeons and was led by the Consul of Seven. This is the first known civilization created by SCP-3095-1 instances. Unknown. Petty. Made up entirely out of pelicans, located on an unnamed Reach on the coast of California, attempted to assault Site-22 with tribal weapons before being terminated by on-site personnel. The village was then destroyed by MTF Better 20 slapsticks, approximately Type 2. The Kingdom of the First Oak, made up entirely out of American Robins. Major population center is located near a 120-year-old oak tree in northern Canada. Culture is built around a system similar to Confucian philosophies. This is the first known SCP-3095-1 civilization that acted in a passive way towards the Foundation, and also the first to engage in trading with the Foundation. Type 4 The Great Ark of the Malice, made up entirely out of Malad, centered around three distinct population centers at the perimeter of the Beep Lake in North Dakota. Culture is centered around technological advancement for the purpose of ascending to Medela. This is the first known civilization to have more than one major population center, and the first to have reached Type 5 civilization status. Due to the rapid technological advancement of this SCP-3095-1 civilization, SCP-3095 was reclassified as Keta. Type 5 the Commonwealth of the Mountain, made up of several different species of SCP-3095-1. Five major population centers are scattered across New Mexico. Culture is based around acceptance of natural values. This is the first known civilization to include multiple species. Type 3 The Eighth Hawk of the Sands, data expunged, data expunged. The Empire of Scavengers, made up entirely out of parrots, centered around one major population center in southern Venezuela. Culture and civilizations was heavily influenced by SCP-3201. Civilization was neutralized by Edo-1 following a series of robberies done by SCP-3095-1 instances in the nearby city of Beep. Type 2 The Perry Tree, made up entirely out of flamingos, located in the Colombian forest near Site 40. This civilization has been passive towards the Foundation, but has requested that it is to be left alone. Surveillance fire 801 is to continue. As of date, it is no longer viable. The poetry follows an extreme religious oligarchy with Nidia at the highest. Formerly Type 2, see Incident 3095-8. Update. Following the implementation of Proposal Exigna, all civilizations created by SCP-3095-1 have been successfully dissolved. Addendum 3095-3 Incident 3095-8 On Beep 2010, the Perry Tree, a civilization made up of SCP-3095-1 instances, launched a large-scale attack on Site-19, Site-170, and Area Beep. It is of note that during Incident 3095-8, the Perry Tree displayed much higher quality technology than what was previously observed, such as modern computers, tanks, and salted bombs. A far greater population of SCP-3095-1 instances was also noted during the attack. MTF Tower 5 Samsara was deployed to the site of Incident 3095-8, where they joined the forces of on-site personnel in order to resist the attack. 
data be redacted, authorize the use of SCP Beep in order to destroy the Perry Tree's major population center in Columbia. A large cave system was uncovered following the blast, where the Perry Tree had been developing advanced technology for approximately beep years. With this technology, the Perry Tree had secretly become a level 6 civilization. The Perry Tree is known to have frequently interacted with other SCP-3095-1 civilizations. Therefore, SCP-3095-1 now poses a significant security threat to the Veil vale and the Foundation in general. SCP-3095 has been flagged for termination as of BEEP 2010. Addendum 3095-4 Proposal Exigna Level 2 clearance required. Access granted. Proposal Exigna involves the weaponized use of an anti-meme to erase GOI-301 from history. An appropriate anti-meme, hereafter referred to as AM-12-0 Jaxo, has been developed using content derived from SCP-3334-1 and has been proven to successfully erase all memories of GOI-301 and its ideals from the human mind. AM-12-0 Jaxo will be deployed into the general public, where it will reach all 7 plus billion people within at least 2 months. Foundation personnel have been exposed to a counter beam that will prevent AM-12-0 Jaxo from affecting them. AM-12-0 Jaxo will destroy itself after three months. At this time, GOI-301 have been neutralized. MTF New 7 and MTF Tau 5 will then destroy all SCP-3095-1 civilizations. With current resources, this will take approximately seven months before all civilizations have been destroyed. Long SCP-3095-1 instances will expire as part of their natural lifespan within 5-10 to 10 years. At this point, SCP-3095 will be declared neutralized. Update. Proposal Exigna has been approved by HCML Supervisor Beep and will be put into effect on Beep 2011. Proposal Exigna progress. 100% complete. GOI-301 has been successfully neutralized by AM-12-0 Jaxo. All SCP-3095-1 civilizations have been successfully neutralized by New-7 and Tau-5. Long SCP-3095-1 instance time out successfully reach. Proposal Exigna has been declared successful. SCP-3095 has been reclassified as neutralized. These are automated noticed. While you are reading this document, user C. Calvin uploaded a newer revision. Would you like to view this revision? Loading newest revision. Item number SCP-3095 Object Class Avian Containment Class Thaumu Special Containment Procedures GOI-301 has been dissolved in all instances of SCP-3095-1 aside from 3095 Talanos participants have been terminated. Therefore, SCP-3095 is believed to be neutralized. The following containment procedures are kept for archival purposes only. Instances of SCP-3095-1 are to be contained in A319, which is located in Site-48. Due to the dangers of SCP-3095-1 instances collaborating with each other, only five may be housed in the same containment unit at any one time. Field termination is authorized for when A319 has reached maximum capacity. Civilizations created by SCP-3095-1 instances are to be monitored by MTF Edda-2 bird brains. Should a civilization reach a point where it poses a threat to the Foundation and or the Veil, MTF New 7 Hammer Down is authorized to destroy it. GOI-301 is to be dissolved as soon as possible. No members of GOI-301 are to be apprehended, then interrogated and given appropriate amnestics. 
Mu-7 is to be deployed in order to destroy known buildings associated with GOI-301. President of Interest 301K, the current president of GOI-301, is to be located and assassinated. Further details regarding 3095 Talanos participants is restricted to those with T-2701 authorization. Description. No changes from previous revision detected. Information collapsed. Addendum 3095-5. Project Talanos. T-2701 authorization required. Access granted. Good day, authorized personnel. If you are reading this document, you are currently working in an environment where Project Talanos has taken effect. If so, please reread this document very carefully. The key here is that SCP-3095 gives SCP-3095-1 instances various skills. Some are lucky enough to get away with proficiencies in useful subjects, calculus, geometry, biology, physics. Some are average. A select few are as advanced as our best doctors. There was one SCP-3095-1 civilization, the Eighth Hawk of the Sands. They were made up of entirely of seagulls. For some reason, they had a high number of these proficients. We had just begun research into the creation of SCP-3095-1 species and the proficiencies that they received before Incident 3095-8 happened, and we had to implement Proposal Exigna. But we decided to save one civilization, the Eighth Hawk. In these changing days, we need every resource we can get. More anomalies, more research, and especially more personnel. When it comes to the personnel, I honestly don't care what species they're from. Yes, your new colleague is a seagull. The world is a weird place. Welcome to the Foundation. Researcher Calvin.